Hotel and Casino 2001. And I'm here to welcome Howard Stern to our hotel. And I'm gonna do everything I can to make him happy. Jackie already told the uh, blackjack dealer that she's cute. Oh yeah, she asked him what kind of notes he kept scribbling over there, and he says, I'm writing about how pretty you are. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was pretty smooth. <laughs> you old goat. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, look at Jackie's you. Jackie's got the moves. <laughs> are you uh, Olivia, our dealer, are you attracted to Jackie at all? A little. Come on, tell the truth, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, are you attracted at all to Jackie? Sexually, no. No. Oh, what, I'm other, sorry. what other kind is there? <laughs> Sexually, no. And other ways she is. <laughs> Every other way. Yeah. The ways you know what? It's kind of like how you look at a dog. You love him, but it's not what sexual. What kind of answer is that? What, Sorry, what were you I about don't mean to hurt your feelings. He's the pride of Babel. Are you crazy? The guy was a gymnast. I saw what he was writing about me. Oh. All right, anyway. Oh. Uh, Mr. October is here, Reggie Jackson. We're going to be pulling him out as soon as he gets here. Well, let's go to Anthony. Anthony, what is it? You're on the air. We're going to make a bet with Reggie Jackson right now, yeah. bro. Yeah. I'm letting it ride. 500 bucks. Hey, the great Mr. October wow. and really Raleigh Fingers as well. Reggie Jackson and Raleigh Fingers in Holy Vegas. What are you, by the way, what are you guys doing in Vegas? Mr. October, what are you doing in uh, Vegas? The same thing. You are losing money. Are you losing money? <laughs> Have you been at the tables playing? Uh, yes, I was at the tables, but I did pretty well at the tables. But I. Uh, what did you win? Be honest with us. Blackjack. Did you play blackjack and you won? Yes. yes. What did you win? How much? I won, I won 700 bucks. 700. Yeah, I was there for about three minutes. You're Mr. October, Pretty though. Pretty good wage. Oh, come <laughs> on. That's not a bad wage. Uh, can I call you Reggie? Is it all right? Anything you want. Just I mean, uh, you're, call me anything you want, but don't embarrass me. I mean, you're a legend. I mean, I don't want to, uh, you know, if you want me to call you Mr. Jackson or something, I'll do it. <laughs> Whatever you like. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll call you Reggie if it's all right. I'll call How about you, Mr. Uh, Reggie? I'll call you Mr. Howard. All right, that's good. Anyway, uh, Reggie, you, uh, <laughs> you're going to be betting here today with us, right? Absolutely. What How are much, you going to bet Yeah, what is your today? bet? What, what, is, you know, what are you going to bet? It's a one-time thing. I'm down We're looking for, for big bets. I'm down for 500. All right. Nice. Wow. Well, let me tell you, in honor of Reggie Jackson. I embarrass you. In honor of Reggie Jackson, I am going to bet 500 with him. <laughs> there you go. I am going to bet 500 of my hard-earned dollars. And, uh, hey, let's talk to Raleigh Fingers also. Raleigh, uh, I think still... I'm going to scare Raleigh into betting yeah, more. Yeah, now, now I'm going to have to bet more here. And Raleigh's digging into Ra his pocket. Raleigh, <laughs> you still have the mustache and everything. And uh, listen, maybe you guys, you guys are pretty rich, aren't you, though? He is. Well, Reggie? Oh, yeah. Reggie, you made a lot of bucks being a baseball player, right? Yeah. I mean, you're, wealthy, you're a multimillionaire, right? Oh. It only takes two. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, but seriously, are, are you a multimillionaire? Yes. You are? Oh. Yes. You're set for life. So what does your life consist of now? I mean, you married guy, divorced, what's your story? Uh, I'm not married. Uh, I was married for about a year when I was 22. You right. got divorced at the right time. Yeah, you really. got divorced at the right time. Right. Yeah. I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, recently divorced, and that's why I'm only betting 500. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure I hold on to every penny. I've got a wonderful life. You do. What do you do? Like you um, wake up. What, I mean, do Where you, do you do, live? First yeah. Do you all? work? Do you live in a mansion? I mean, what, yes. what's the lifestyle? Um, I live in a wonder, wonderful home. It's like a Ponderosa. I live in uh, Pebble Beach, California. Oh. Oh, nice. oh, look at you, Mr. October. A, I don't have a huge house. It's about 6,000 square feet, but I've got five and a half acres. That's oh. nice. What do you got, like like a farm set up? Wow. No, no, I'm a car nut. Right. I'm a car goon. Right. I mean, I've got about 90 cars, I've, and I've sold about 15. And and you uh, you just do that for fun, though? Um, I do it. It's a hobby that's turned into a good revenue source for me. So when you got out of baseball, you had X amount of dollars. You took it. You invested it wisely. You didn't sit there and uh, spend it on all kinds of stuff. Didn't you come to Vegas. Right. I'll, 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 I'll say this, Howard. Uh, I did enjoy myself like any red-blooded American young kid would. I mean, you want a new car. You want a Corvette. Why not? You right. want a nice coat. You want a watch and all those kind of things in the right. house. you got to take care of your mom, your dad, your sisters, your brothers, and your buddies. Yeah, and, and you got to have all like, and you gotta have money for hookers. Yeah. You gotta, oh, please. Hey, come on. A man's got to live. Oh, Go ahead. You, know, you just don't call him that. Right. Oh. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> so you... Oh. you, you <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. I knew I was going to get in trouble this guy. Said the wrong thing. Did you lead me right to I understand. One. No, but what I'm saying is, is that you, so you had, an, uh, you, so you had your, uh, your fun, you had your cars, yes. you had your this and that, the other thing, but you invested. Like you, 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 you buy anything that has value. My father told me you can make money owning a T-shirt shop. Right. Be comfortable yeah. opening the door and locking it at night. Right. I spent a lot of money on cars. I loved cars. All of the cars that I've owned, I have over a hundred. There were seven or eight million bucks, and the value was there. Right. So, so it was an investment. Exactly. All right. So you've always. Now, I yep. have a question. 
So yes, you can you go, go up to his room with no, him no, and have sex. No, 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 no. Of course. No. Uh, do you go <laughs> to staying those, across town? Do you go to those baseball <laughs> signing conventions? And Absolutely. That's okay. where the real dough's uh, at, right? Oh, uh, there's a, you know. Raleigh, you too, right? Oh yes. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what can you get for those things? I'm thinking of going sign some stuff. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it all depends on how many you sign, how many pieces you sign, how long you're there, and. The, will the you guys thing. give autographs to somebody just walks up to you? You're smart about oh, it. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You will. Oh, the the yeah. people pay, and I'm happy to sign at any time, all the time. I mean, there are things that bug you. People interrupt you at dinner. They interrupt you at, at, the, at the blackjack table. They interrupt you when you're in the restroom. I mean, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> They'll interrupt you. Right, but you, that, that's where you wouldn't sign an autograph. Well, no. I don't while you're in the mid-P or something. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, let me wash Excuse my hands. Excuse me, Mr. October. Uh, are you in that <laughs> stall? Yeah, I, <laughs> wash my, I want to wash my hands first. Right. Forget about it. Well, that's decent. <laughs> so, so wait a second. <laughs> So, the so how many of those do you do a year? That can bring in I mean, some pretty good money. I mean, what? Huh? How many of those signings do you do? Autographs. Yeah. Um, I do. I try to keep mine to a minimum, and I try to do. Yeah, and be, I'll be very honest with you. I try to do a couple hundred thousand a year in autographs. Wow. Is that right? That's nice. Wow. That's nice. That's I nice to bread. I gotta start following you around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Raleigh nice didn't know you were doing that. Raleigh's like, what do I get in on this? <laughs> I don't want to screw it up. Right. I don't want to be nasty to people. I want to be nice to people. Right. I don't want to do too many. Um, because it's a nice revenue source, and to sit at home and sign your name, you know, and it's not bad. And your only overhead are the pens, right? I mean, <laughs> and they give them to you. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And they can get them from people. It's perfect. So, okay, so the lifestyle now is like you can wake up whatever time you want. You don't have to go to a regular gig. You don't have to go to a job. That's true. You play a little golf or something? Yes, I play golf. Right, and what about broads? I mean, where do you, like, can you just go to any bar and say, look, I'm Mr. October and pretty much... Uh, uh, come home with me? Yeah, pretty much get laid. I mean, is it, is it, is it easy? Is it hard? I mean, oh, come on. Like, seriously, where do you get the broads? That's what I want to know. Hey, he, he could, he, don't, don't be shy, Hal. Right. No, but don't here, like here in Hal. Vegas, I mean, when you sit down at the table, mm -hmm. all the girls are like, hey, that's Mr. October. I got to go have sex with him, or what? Most of them do. Right. <laughs> would, you, would you ever trade an autograph for Felicia? Get into this guy. Right? <laughs> um, <laughs> what? It was to trade an autograph for what? Trade an autograph for Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> Raleigh, I'm what about you? You married? I've never yes, seen I'm her. married. Never oh. met her before. Right. So Raleigh's married. But I've always wondered about guys who do this stuff with their mustaches. Yeah, let's talk about the mustache. <laughs> How would you know that this was going to Thank go? you. <laughs> what is that, Gary? He's you killing know, me. I, I think the reason Raleigh originally grew the mustache was Charles Finley paid the players to grow facial hair because he wanted the team to seem, seem young and hip. That was it. Yeah. Well, Reggie, Reggie started all of it. He came to spring training with a mustache in 72. Uh -huh. And uh, he wouldn't cut it off. So about four or five of us decided to grow mustaches. And we figured if we shave them, you know, if we grow the mustaches, D uh, Dick, Dick Williams will tell him to shave it off, then we'll shave it off. Well, Charlie Finley knew, found out about it, and he gave everybody 300 bucks if they had a mustache on opening day. And your wife likes the mustache? Oh, she yeah. loves it, yeah. Tickles her. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew you were going there. Oh, yeah, I knew you were going there. Robin, smell Raleigh's mustache. <laughs> oh, but you wonder. I mean, now you've got to get up every morning, and does oh, it yeah. go like that automatically? Because oh, yeah, yeah. you, you've got, like, the Salvador Dali mustache. You've got the whole thing at the end going. Yeah. Like, you have to, like, t you have to use wax and, wax. Like, and, and the whole thing. I have a very electrifying wife. Wow. <laughs> well, hey guys, let's gamble now, all right? And by the way, I should mention, I should give Reggie a plug here. If you want authentic sports memorabilia, you can visit ReggieJackson.com. There is a ReggieJackson.com yes, right now. That's why I came on. I'll see you now. All right, bye. <laughs> all right, guys, you guys ready to gamble? We're Absolutely. here in Vegas. What is it, Gary? I was going to ask, could I kick Jackie out of his seat? Could I bet $1,000 with Mr. Absolutely. October? Jackie, you want to let him? Oh, right. no, but he can, right. bet, he can bet 1000 You can bet 1000 Gary, why, why, <laughs> Gary kept saying to me, I want to bet 1000 You know what, Gary? What? Me, go ahead. Bet a thousand on my hand because I'm going to win. Really? Put your thousand wow. on my hand. We'll bet fifteen. Wow. Yeah, go ahead. Sit here, Jackie. You there can bet two. That Gary, put your hundred in there. Ga this, is, this is like having sex with Reggie Jones Jackson for hand. Gary. I mean, yeah, it's like he's going to get to put it's one yeah, hand, it's, right? It's, no, it's, Gary, put the thousand down the by, thousand by Mr. Over October. Here. Put, put your two hundred here. You're now making a fifteen hundred dollar bet. You're betting with Mr. October. You're betting with Mr. October. You're going to bet a dime. Gary, why is it so important for you to bet with Mr. October? What's going on it's here? A, it's just sort of fun. It's, a, well, it's, well, it's just sort of fun. You know, he's a baseball player, and I don't watch Hercules. Everybody you know? has I'm a hero. I'm not going to bet with John Wayne Bobbitt. Yeah. Right. I mean, everybody Bobby has a hero, Howard. You can Bobby bet with Bobby. me, too, if you want. I'm going to put my 500 Bobby. right up here, Mr. October. Bobby and Raleigh, are you going to bet? I got a couple hundred in. You I got to make the big money. I'll you didn't get much, huh? No, really? Are you on a tight budget, Raleigh? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. October, do you laugh at Raleigh? Oh. What? <laughs> Raleigh's been married a couple of times. Oh, is that oh. right? That's why, that's why it's a two hundred dollar bet. He's got a two hundred dollar bet. <laughs> He's got a ball player. I don't you know what they say? Raleigh, how many times have you been married? How, 
half, four times, four times, times. Oh, half, a quarter, an eighth, a sixteenth. I mean, what do you expect? Raleigh, the guy yeah. hundred back. Let me ask you something, Mr. Arctoe. How much money you figure Raleigh made in professional baseball? I mean, over the years. The Twelve, fifteen million. Twelve, what fifteen you, million. What are you talking to. <laughs> 12 or 15 million. 10 million. 10, 10 million. million. You remember who we played for? Raleigh. 10 million. <laughs> Did you make 10 million? No, not even hold close. It, hold really? But how? Half is five. That's what I'm saying. A quarter so is two points. Baseball. Five. Wait, right. So wait, when was your first divorce? While you were playing ball? Yes. And uh, so you get half your money went out at then? Gone. Almost. Okay. No, Second, I didn't make anything then. But the second time you got married, another half went out. No, no, it wasn't uh, making anything then. Did either. you ever sign prenuptial agreements with any of the women? No. Didn't know they never. Heard of never. That. What about with the new wife? How didn't long have you been married to the new one? Uh, three years. How, did you make a prenup with her? Uh, yes. <laughs> Thank God. There's nothing left. Is it close the barn door after the horse? Did you lose a lot of money with the marriages? Seriously, did that No, no, not a whole lot. Really? Not a whole lot. No. Man. Yeah, I didn't have anything. You why? Didn't why? Let me explain money. something to me. Because I, I, I bet you, I bet you, Mr. October would agree. Reggie Jackson. Well, he's only been married once. So. That's what I'm saying. I got well, done. I, I've been married <laughs> once. I understand that you should not be married, because it, it, well, if it didn't work out, I had a times. wonderful wife. If it didn't work out with us, what makes me think it would work out with somebody else? Why four times? You yes. know it's not going to work out. Well, you don't, you don't it, know that. You don't know that when you're not good at it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did you think you'd learned? <laughs> Each time. Not you're a whole lot the first three, I'll tell you. You're not good at marriage. You should let somebody else pick out your wife. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so right. what's the deal? Were they, were, were, were they professional women? Were they strippers? No, were they? no. They're just, they were strippers? Uh, uh, Absolutely. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Remember when you asked me if I went to the bar and asked them to go to my room? Yeah. How do you think oh, he had no, no, no. time? He goes, he goes to the oh, bar and says, hey, why don't you marry me? No, no, no. Wait, no, come really, on. Now. Give me a really. break. Raleigh, where did you meet these women? Uh, school. School? What school. What school did you go to? Were you in school? You're a professional <laughs> baseball player. Oh, well, the first one was in school. Oh, then you go to their school afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, got it. All right, listen, never mind the marriage is going to upset you. Yeah. All right, what's everybody betting? I'm putting down 500 bucks right I'm here. I'm putting down 400. All right, this is a big win. bet. Put, you, put your money on my hand. <laughs> put your money on my hand. Are you serious? <laughs> put it over here. Play. Hey, Howard, guess what? Why don't we put it all... I guess he October. I, Howard, I just found out Mrs. Wow. Fingers is in the room. Oh, is that no. right? No. Uh, no. Mrs. Mrs. Fingers. Fingers. <laughs> no kidding. Where is Mrs. Fingers? Bring her out here. Mrs. Fingers, Mrs. Fingers. Mrs. Fingers. <laughs> Mrs. Fingers. She's a lot younger than Raleigh. I oh, can tell good. You that. Look at this. Let me see, Mrs. Hi. Whoa. Hi. Whoa. Mrs. Whoa. Fingers. Oh. All right. Whoa. If you get tired of Raleigh, I'll marry you. He uh, did meet her in school. <laughs> You're not kidding. You're right. You did meet all your wives oh, in school. It just took him a few times to get it right. What are you, in high school? No, I'm you're 35. young. You're 35. Well, you look damn good. Yeah, you're doing good. Well. You're not kidding me. That mustache really must do the trick. Yeah. It must wiggle. I, I got something, though, that you'll never be able to figure out. What's that? Hey, Johnny. Johnny. Who's Johnny? Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, I want you to meet my nephew. Run Is that right? for a second. Mr. October's You'll never nephew? never understand this. Let me see. Oh, this is funny. Howard. Johnny, get over here. Where is Johnny? This is my nephew. Because I want to get back to Raleigh Last Finger's wife is... and the mustache. Yeah. Oh, wait till you see Last this. name is Ferrara. <laughs> and where is your nephew? This, this guy coming out. This white guy is your guy nephew? Here, right. yeah. That's right, Howard. Come on. Are you a white guy? I'm a white guy. And you're Mr. October's but, nephew? But yeah, you know, it's one of those weird things. How does that work out? Not close to being black. He's Italian. No, but what? And how is he your nephew? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Italy is close to Africa. So that's right. Know, that's it. Over back and forth. Hey, you know. Are you, are you Reggie, the great Reggie real? Jackson's nephew? I am the great Reggie Jackson's nephew. How are you a white guy, a nephew? Well, like Reggie said, you know, we're Italian. We go out. We have a good time. I can see I'm not going to get the right answer no. out of this. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Let's get back to Raleigh Finger's wife. <laughs> you are married, of course, to a legend. There's a big responsibility that goes along with that. You must satisfy a legend. Uh, the great Raleigh Fingers, is it? Uh, is the mustache a turn on, seriously? Oh. <laughs> yes. It is. <laughs> don't walk in the his stop. No, don't, don't walk no, in the his stop. And you are a redhead? Yes. So you are red all over, I would imagine? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. If not, she is now. You can understand yeah. why Raleigh needed you to sign a prenuptial agreement. The man's wiped out from uh, the first three marriages. How did he bring that up? Yeah, how does a guy bring that up when he asks you to marry him? I brought it up. You did? Yes. Because I loved That's him so much. Oh. And he, had, he had been through such some horrible marriage. His last marriage was horrible. Right. And I said, listen, I love you. I don't need anything. So, really? Wow. She's a nice girl. Be well, nice. Hey, she got any sisters? <laughs> <laughs> Raleigh, she's one in a million. Hold on to her. Thank you. Well, because of Raleigh's previous marriage, he'll only be betting about $200. He's a beautiful man. He has wonderful children. Right. Take care of them. and. Well, I'll tell you, Ra happy. Raleigh's money got hacked up like O.J.'s wife. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but thank God he's here today and able to bet a little bit of money. And you're a good woman for sticking by Raleigh, even though he's in the poorhouse. Thank you. <laughs> Man is destitute. I tell you, poor Raleigh has to steal mustache wax. All the wives wiped him out.
talking about? We ready to gamble, guys? Yeah, Let's gamble. Exactly. All right, I got five hundred dollars right here. Tell you what, you're one of the few guys that I know that could have made it in the clubhouse in the locker That's room, it. the big league locker. You, you think play. so? You they dish it out over there. Let me tell you something. I'd never be allowed. First of all, you know, I never played any sports because my penis is small, and I didn't want to be seen in the locker room. Like, they told me that before I came yeah. on. They told me that was one of the deals. Well, when you were in the locker room, I imagine Mr. October is well hung. Here we go. Here we go. Right, but uh, don't get the soap, brother. Yeah, well, these the two were in the locker room together. <laughs> right. Did you guys see each other's penis? <laughs> Did you guys see each other's penis? No. Oh, oh, my, I wore shades. You did. Yeah. No, you did. You guys took showers together, right? Yes. You did. And no. who was bigger, Mr. October or Raleigh? Tell you. What do you think? It has, to be, it has to be Mr. October's you batting. Seen a black guy turn red? That's right. As long as you guys never touched each other, I'm fine. With it. All right, let's see. I'll ask Mrs. Fingers who's fingers. Yeah, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Be nice now. You guys aren't bunking all in the same room. All right. All right. All right, come on. Let's let's gamble now. Let, let's uh, right. let's get the money. You're gonna ch cash those chips in? Can we do that? Do we? Have to, or can money they plays. They can play money, with cash. Money plays. Money, money plays. Money, plays. money goes the right there. Are we playing one hand? One, one, hand. one hand. One hand. One hand. All right. So they can use cash. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Put on the microphone, Scott. Any Drop a blackjack on me. Blo Drop a blackjack on me. <laughs> Howard, you're not gonna get on our hand. You want me to put it on yours? Yes, your absolutely. He wants it all. He all right, I'm putting it over here. I'm putting my 500 on Mr. October. Can I help you? Is my 100 going over there? Go for a blackjack. Put it over here. Everybody goes over here. Oh, so we're all playing the same There's hand? That's exactly. Is Fred's How much money is on the hand, Mr. October? Total okay, total you, you got 500. There's 1,000, 500, 2,000. About three grand. Um, close to three grand. Close to three yeah. grand. Wow. Three grand. Yeah. All right. There so one hand. One hand, one deal hand. it to Mr. One October, hand. put up the mic. Hold it. Howard, I'll do the play by Jack, play. Blackjack plays 4,500, right? Right. Plays time and a half. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. All right, Mr. October, I'll do the play by play. I hope he knows how to play. Drop a Rembrandt. Reggie Jackson has $3,500 in one hand. He'll be playing the hand against the house. All right. <laughs> Here we go. He's Olivia, deal the card. We got a nine. The dealer's card is down. We have 15. It looks bad. Oh. The dealer has There's a seven. seven we're going we're gonna to have to take a hit. Give us the hit on 15. 16. We're going to have to take a hit. We got an ace. One more hit. Richie Jackson calls for. Oh, we busted. 22. We got a six. We busted my 500. I knew I shouldn't have let him play my hand. Reggie. Reggie. Gary's thousand. Reggie's. Reg. Reggie. What the hell did you do? I blew it. I blew it. Mr. October. Oh, my goodness. Can we see what the dealer had just out of curiosity? Yeah, just turn over your car. Turn over, so turn, over that, turn over that eight. She oh. had 12. It doesn't matter. 12's an 18. Yeah, you would have had an 18. 12's an 18. Oh, you had yeah. to take the hit. Yeah. Had to take it. Okay. Mr. Yeah. October did the right thing. Oh, well. Yeah, we had to do it. Man. We had to do it. Reggie, there's a famous story, of course. When you were a young man and you first started playing baseball, you were just a kid. And uh, you got up to bat, and in front of your father, you struck out. And you, you walked home in shame that day, and you said to your father, exactly right. I am going to become a professional baseball player. And, right. uh, and I now suggest. I'm lose Howard's money. Yeah. <laughs> and I suggest you go home and say you're going to become a professional blackjack player because <laughs> you just lost all our money. But, but Mr. October, I don't care. Raleigh Fingers has to skip lunch now. Yes. <laughs> Poor son of a I bitch. I can't gamble the rest of the night now. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> I want to thank, first of all, Mrs. Fingers yes. for wow. stopping by. Yeah. I want to thank Mr. October's nephew. <laughs> thank you, Howard. Reggie, I don't want you to be upset. We're, we're, we're so thrilled you're here. We'll be okay. The fact that you lost our money is yeah. no big deal. I will it tell you. absolutely but, no big uh, deal. Let me Howard, say this. It, can I have a, what, one minute? Yes. I have uh, Johnny, my nephew, and my good friend over there, Walt, from ReggieJackson.com, have talked to me for four or five years, maybe even longer. Right. you got to go on the Howard Stern Show. you got to go on the Howard Stern Show. Of course. I said, I'm not going on the Howard Show to Stern Show. This guy's going to flay me. I'm afraid. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I will tell you that I had a blast. I had a great time. Glad you had and, a great uh, time. I look forward to coming back again. Yeah, can't wait for you to come back. Raleigh, you come back, too, man. Howard's you guys are great. Uh, and go to ReggieJackson.com. What is it, Robin? Hey, Howard, no, it's oh, just a... Uh, yeah. An old business part partner of Reggie's wants to say hi to him. Who is that? This woman right here. Yeah, hi, baby. Uh, hi, I'm Yvette Mantos' mother. Oh, how are you doing? Week. I just want to say hi. Good to see you. <laughs> how are you? Fine, thanks. You can bang I Mr. October up in his room oh, later. No, no, oh, no. Nothing, nothing. Oh. If you want to have sex with Reggie, it's up in his room. Not here. No, she can't hear a thing we're uh, saying. you got to put headphones on them, boys. 
Anyway, Mr. October, great seeing you, Rob Fingers. Thanks for seeing you. Thank you. And guys, have good luck here at the uh, Hard Rock Hotel. We'll be right back after these words. We're out here live in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, and they're treating us great. I love it here. Uh, Las Vegas, a lot of fun. We're having a good time. We're having a wild time. We took all of our money, put it down on a bet with Reggie Jackson. Mr. October convinced us he would he would win for us. <laughs> yeah. We should have done our own bets. Right. He he got he convinced every one of us to give him our money, and now we're all broke. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Elvis here. Everybody's really here. Watch this, Robin. Yeah. That's all I got to do. Now all you have to do is go up to your hotel room and shoot out your uh, TV screen. Yeah, I will. <laughs> if they put the Super Bowl back on. God, that sucked. Oh. The Giants just, just sucked. Yeah, so far it's been a bad night. It's Jason Seahorn with that Angie Harmon every minute. He's proposing to her. He's, he's doing interviews. Oh, my God, our love is so deep that I know where Angie's sitting in the audience at any given time. I'm like, you know what? Keep your eye on the black guy you're supposed to be covering oh. and stop with Angie Harmon. Well, probably somebody dump him should, now. You should have gotten to him before the game. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you, you, you know what the difference in the game with that Ray Lewis guy is like Spider Man. Oh, he was everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Hey, uh, John. Yeah, Howard. Who's out there? Let's talk to a couple of our fans. Uh, we have a bunch of people here who want to talk to you. What's your name? Lisa. Uh, Lisa wants to uh, get naked for you, Howard. Really? <laughs> Lisa. Yeah, I do, Howard. Bring her closer so we can hear what she has to say. and. Oh, she can hear me. I, I doubt she can hear me. Hi, Howard. Hi, honey. Where do you work? What's your deal? I live here in Vegas. And are you a stripper of some kind? I'm a stripper and a cocktail waitress. I do both. At the same time? At the same time. No kidding. You have very big bosoms. Are, yeah. those, are those fake or real? Fake. 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 I don't know if you're allowed to get naked in the casino. I have no clue. Uh, I don't have a G-string on, just so uh, you know. I don't. You're completely nude. I'm Is complete nude. nudity uh, not allowed? I Who knows? No Wait, I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask the. Uh, excuse me. Is it All complete right. nudity allowed? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's encouraged. We got permission. We just got permission. All right. <laughs> what? You got permission? Yes. <laughs> All right. What do I get? What do I get, Howard? You know what? Maybe just pull your pants down and then bring them right back up All again. Right, but what do I get? What do I get? You get nothing. Oh, Sign baseball. On, I give her Reggie. How about a Reggie Jackson? Come uh, on, Howard. Oh, get rid of him. How about a Reggie Jackson uh, baseball? baseball? Yeah, you sure do, honey. I'm sure I you do a lot of that. Going. Would you like a signed baseball from Reggie Jackson? No, from you. Oh, I from don't have you. Any. Well, you could sign it, too. All right, I'll sign it to you also. I want you to sign my ass. <laughs> All right, if you pull down your pants and show us your naked everything, <laughs> I'll sign your ass. <laughs> All right, honey, let me see that. <laughs> While the crowd's... You know what? We oh waste too God. much time trying to come up with funny stuff. This is much easier. Wow. Oh, that's a nice ass. Oh! Oh, she's just... Hey, you look good. Come over here. I'll sign your ass, honey. She's got so much written on the back, you really couldn't tell she was naked. Right? <laughs> Come on over and I'll sign your ass. You know, Robin, someone's got to sign this broad's ass, and I guess I'll do it. Hey, Gary, aren't you about to go get the actual $100,000 we're going to bet? That's right. I'm, I'm going to take off now, and I'm going to go pick up the money, okay? Hold on. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, we know you're... What, Nobody can hear her, John. Get the microphone. Where is he? No. <laughs> what was that you were saying? Okay, I'm a cocktail waitress. Do I get a tip too? Yeah, you get the tip of my pen on your ass. Oh, come on, <laughs> Honey, what are you talking about? Come Howard, on. I've been waiting all night for you. Oh, I'll sign. All right, there it is. There's there you a go. Howard Stern signature right on your ass. Thank you, and thank you for wearing perfume. I appreciate that. Hey. You smell good. You smell real good. Hey, Howard. Thank you very much, Howard. I'll have sex in my do room with you later. Excuse me? No, 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 Keep those in their shirt. You know, Howard, it's funny. I was out at um, that club across the street, that club Paradise. I was out there last night. Yeah. So they sent over a bunch of girls, and I was having a long discussion. She's like, well, what are we going to do when we're there? And she goes, listen, I hope Howard doesn't refer to us as strippers. And I said, well, wh what should he call you? And she's like, well, we're adult entertainers. We're not strippers. And I go, what's the difference? A stripper's a skank. We're adult entertainers. Ah. I see. So don't call them strippers. All I know is Scott is so busy staring at the stripper that he doesn't turn off their microphone. <laughs> just like he's just out of it. I watch him, and I go berserk. I don't know you who know, to look at. You know John's what? waving. John's waving. I, I told KC, every time we go on the road, it's as if he's done the show for the first, first time. time. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Hey, uh, 
<laughs> what is it, John? He's going nuts. Is, he doesn't put on my microphone. What is it? Um, there's another. I mean, we have a lot of fans been waiting to talk to you. All right, real quick. This girl's name is Treasure. You saved her life. How was that, Treasure? Oh, I was a fat chick, and I listened to you, and you're like the voice of reason. And I would exercise to your show, and I lost uh, uh, 55 pounds. Oh, I'm like God to you. Yes, then. you are. I, my goal, every day I would look in the mirror and I would go, would Howard Stern play the What a Piece of Ass theme for me? <laughs> well, uh, let, me, let me say something. First of all, your chest is enormous. You it have, used to be bigger. And are, are those real breasts? <laughs> or they're fake? <laughs> they're real. They're real. Wow. <laughs> Howard, Howard, uh, <laughs> she has before and after yeah. naked pictures to show you. Oh, uh, no. And, and like, you got to see like how well you helped her. Wow, let me say, John. Those are the before and afters? Yes, I oh really did God. help her. <laughs> I really did help her, Robin. Look. And you don't have the Wasn't he in the Super Bowl today? <laughs> Look how good I did. Take these and burn them. <laughs> right, also, Howard, I have a, uh, a guy here who's going to have his girlfriend sh show you her breast if he can take a picture. Hey, I've been, I've been a fan for a long time. I've been supporting the show ever since you've been in Vegas. Real quick, if I can get one picture with you guys and the crew at the table, my girlfriend would never do anything like this except for the show. Could she show you her breast for yeah, one Yeah, all right, okay, that's good. That's worthwhile. <laughs> sure, we'll take a look at your girlfriend's breast. What's your name? My name is Tom. It's Melissa. Hi, Melissa. How are I, you? I just want to let you know, like, I'm, I, I need to get work done, so please don't be too cruel on me, okay? I'm not, honey, I'm not cruel. Uh, let me see those breasts, and I won't you say a word. You appreciate every breast you've What do you mean you need to get show? work done? No, you don't need any work on those. <laughs> Come here, I'll work on them. <laughs> Very beautiful. Olivia. Olivia's just, she doesn't know what to do now. Can I get one picture? Yeah, you come on over here and take a picture with me. All right. Olivia, our dealer will never be the same. Here he comes. Neither will we. What'd you say your name was? Get over there. Where are you going to go? That's good, that's good, right here. there. My name is Tom. All right, Tom, let's take a picture. Hurry up and take the picture. You're not Scavulo. All right, good. Okay, thanks, Tom. Uh, Howard. Yes. You know, there's a bunch of guys who want to come up and gamble with you. Um, I, you know, this guy had, you had said on the air that he can gamble uh, 300 bucks. He wants to come in and gamble with us. All right, we're gonna, when we meet Kevin Sorbo, he'll come in and gamble with us. Uh, Gary, now talk to me about the $100,000, which we're minutes away from betting. Okay, I have to go over to the window and get the money, you know, the chips. Right. And we're actually getting $300,000 because, you know, we're doing all those splits and right. the money has to be ready. Right. So I'm on my way to go get security guards. They're going to come with me and I'm bringing the money, putting it right back here. Actually, Let me wow. explain to everybody they, they something. the plan. The money is right back here, I've been told. The money is back yeah, there. Yeah, they just brought it up right over here. Let me tell you something, and this is important to understand. We're going to plunk $100,000 down. And you know what? i got to tell you, after and that Reggie Jackson bet, yeah. I really wow. realized how ridiculous this is. Because yes. yes. I put down 1000 and it's like, gone. And we oh. lost it. <laughs> well, tell Olivia, the dealer, that it's my money because uh, yeah. she'll be more impressed with me. But oh, anyway, wait. here's what the deal is. Wow. We're going to put $100,000 down. We went to an insurance company to give you an idea of what's going to happen here. How we went to an insurance company, and we said, okay, if we need to split eights or aces, will you insure us and put up the additional 100000 Right. Believe it or not, there's an insurance company that's doing it. I'm amazed. Bob Moore, our general manager from Los Angeles, has flown, and he will be on the phone to the insurance company. Oh. Should we need to split, they need to be alerted immediately. Actually, wow. Howard, he'll be on the phone to our legal department. The insurance company is here, Ken Scott, and he has to sit at the table with you guys. Is that right? Yeah, he's oh. here. That is wow. unbelievable. So Ken Scott from the insurance company will sit with us. Right. Uh, um, Bob Moore from our L.A. station will be on the phone with our legal department. Wow. I hope we win that bet. The legal department is uh, in on this. Well, it's not really the legal wow. department. It's that guy Tom Gizamundo at our oh. station, but they, they, but they entrusted him. Why don't we bet with uh, Kevin Sorbo now, Hercules. Right. I understand Mrs. Hercules is here, too, his yeah. hot wife. Sam Hercules. I heard when they got married, the, the minister actually went, wow, when the wife walked in. And Kevin cried. And Kevin cried like a pansy. <laughs> Kevin, you wow. cried at your own wedding. I'll never forgive you for that. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, by the way? Me. How you doing? Oh, oh, right. Put on those headphones, will you, before you kill me? Uh, Kevin Sorbo plays, used to play Hercules. Now, oh, there's the wife. Yeah, wow. I'm going to cry. She looks very nervous. Are you I'm nervous? I'm terribly nervous. Don't worry about it. We Kevin won't. needs his headphones turned it's down or he loud, won't be able man. to be with us. <laughs> He'll be all right. Thank you very much. That okay. was so much better. Thank you. You can turn mine down, too, please. Turn yours down? Just a little. All right. Anyway, uh, Sam. 
By the way, so you used to play Hercules, and now you're on some new show that nobody ever sees. <laughs> oh, oh. No, really, what is that? You know show? what? You know I what? I haven't person. seen it. it. Debuted number one. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's syndication. One. Syndicated. Twenty-six one-hour action shows in syndication. We debuted it's number same one. Same Andromeda, right? right? Andromeda. Gene Roddenberry wrote it 30, yeah. 31 years ago. I sent you six copies. You I know. I haven't watched it yet. Okay, you got them though. <laughs> I got them. I got to sit down. I got to sit down and watch you, it. I, I told you. I'd I bet send you it's them. good too. It's it a some sort of science fiction thing. It's very good. Uh, right. Yeah. And what is that a true story that when you guys got married, the minister went wow to your wife? <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Wow. It's true. You're so hot that the minister went wow. What did he say? What did he say again? Wow. Wow. No, he but said, he said he no. He said a little bit more than that. Uh, what did he say? He said, wow. It was something about, uh, may I speak on behalf of everybody up here? He goes, Kevin, you look okay, but may I speak on behalf of everybody up here? Sam, wow. Well, Kevin's real pretty, too. I mean, is it hard to compete wow. with Kevin's pretty face? I mean, is there a fight for the mirror or going on in your No, house? we have tons of mirrors. But. <laughs> no, I mean, Kevin's a pretty guy. Tons of mirrors. And let me ask you something, Kevin. You, play, uh, you played Hercules. You must have made a nice piece of change on that show. Not what you did in your new contract, I'm quite sure, but, you know. I did okay. I bet you made a lot better, better money than I did. I did. I, I, yeah, well, it went seven seasons, you know. You cleared a couple of mil. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Mrs. Hercules smiling. Wow. <laughs> Prenuptial agreement? No, I heard from uh, we heard from Kevin the last time he was on That's that right. you didn't sign a prenup. Smart girl. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're the one. You're the one we should be focusing on. You're the one with all the money. <laughs> you really made the money. on Yeah, Hercules. you're hot and you got a lot of money. You're a good catch. <laughs> so, so let me understand something. All right. So, and then you got the new show. You're making a ton of dough. What kind of money are you going to be gambling here today at the table? Have you made? A I didn't know I was gambling. You're not going to gamble. No, I'll gamble. How sure. much money would you put up? Are you putting up your own money? Or the yeah, yeah, I've been this putting up my own money. <laughs> we we just gambled. We just lost 500. I lost 500 with uh, Reggie can't, Jackson. Yeah, but Reggie makes more than all of us combined, let's face it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, uh, let's put 100 bucks up. 100? Oh, come How much on, we got to go? I didn't bring, I didn't bring that much oh, money. Oh, I forgot. Me. You're the guy who cried at his <laughs> wedding. <laughs> 100 bucks? Oh, a hard, uh, I don't know how much I got with what me. Okay, let me stick in your you? pocket. Let's see what you got. What do you got, I don't, I don't what do you got, got on you? I don't Howard, Howard. What? Don't you remember? Who, I'm the one with who, all the who, money. Right, what? <laughs> who has the number one show in syndication right now? Obviously not Kevin if he's only betting 100. He does. He's number one in syndication. <laughs> really? That's what everyone says. What have though. you got Nobody, on you? I can send you that. I got a hundred dollars. <laughs> you you're gonna bet a hundred? No, that's what he's got. I don't carry money with me. All right, here. Put down a hundred bucks. Okay, there's a hundred bucks. I'll match your hundred. All right. All right. I got All right. Am I getting some money? Wait, wait, wait. You're betting with chips. So yeah, what? We got chips. What do we need chips for? Fred, what are you going to bet? Let's put it all down. I'm going to bet 100. I'm not number one in anything. Hey, uh, John, where's the guy who hey, wants Fred, to bet? Did you, get, you got beat finally, didn't you? Yes, I did. Only one time, though. Only one time. Are you talking about Winfred's That's money? That's a pretty good record, though. That's a pretty good record. Right. You've got to learn how to talk on mic. One day you're going to learn. <laughs> okay. Kevin, you put up 100. <laughs> yeah. I'll put up 100. Oh, look at I'll you. I'll put up 100. Let's and put it all on Kevin's. So you want to do that again? Do again? Kevin, what kind of a blackjack player are you? I, you know what? I live here. You don't had no idea that I lived in this town. Do we you? don't I know live, anything about you, Henderson. Kevin. No offense. <laughs> I live in Henderson. <laughs> yeah. I don't gamble. I let you all the suckers come in here and lose their money. Right. This is this is no. It's very state upsetting tax to lose in Nevada. Robin, uh -huh. put a hundred, put a hundred down. So on I let Kevin. other people come in and lose right. for put me. Put my hundred down with Kevin. Now, but, I'm not a very lucky am, but I am going to win anyway. Put a hundred down on Kevin. I feel your love. Hey, Howard. Here's There's another hundred with uh, Jackie. Yeah, John, what is it? Do you want this guy to come over here and do it now? Yeah, bring this guy over. This guy wants to gamble with What's us. Put your three hundred on Kevin's. Yeah, this is stupid three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> on. This is truly. Yeah, put it, put it on there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, Robin, yours. put yours on there. I did already. All right, what is that? You get that off. What is that? All right, and who is this who guy? Is Let's that? talk to him. I don't know. Hey, you're the guy who called us. Yeah. With the racist joke. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, you told that horrible racist joke. It wasn't horrible. It was uh, a little off color, oh, but it was all right. All right, meet Wait, Kevin is this Sorbo. Your I don't, Kevin. Hercules, nice to meet you. Everybody talk at once. Hey, uh, <laughs> so so what is it? You got three hundred bucks? I got three hundred. I'm gonna lay down. I work at a liquor store, okay? So I don't think I made a money like you. He guys. makes a lot so, more money uh, than I do. He this does. This is like uh, this is like rent car. And, so why uh, are you doing it? Because I love you guys, man. All right, You're put the three hundred down then on there. Wait, Howard, am I to believe he's putting down two hundred dollars more than the man who has the number one syndicate? That's right, right baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you, you, Gary. Ah. Thank you, Gary. He must have the number one money liquor store. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> What I'm betting is, I'm hey Howard, you're the one playing for okay. all of our money. You're gonna uh, play right just now. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, you don't have to put up any. All right. Howard, can I make a quick side bet? What is it? I bet you five bucks Gary licks his lips three times for the next hands dealt. <laughs> I mean, you win. You win that hands down. I'm looking like a maniac today. Nobody's taking that. How action. much? Let me talk to our dealer Olivia. How much money is down there? Do you have any idea? She has no. She idea. has no idea. I don't 
couple. How are you going to pay us if this you don't is, know this what that is? This is where they operate here. They don't care. The All right, let's steal the cards. I know we each have about. I say we have about 500 on the hand. Somewhere Come on. Come on. Right, here, maybe more. Uh, we have an eight. The dealer, we don't know yet. We have 11. Oh, oh no. Oh. Now hold double it. Down. Whoa. The oh. dealer has a five. We have double to double down. down. I'm doubling. I'm good. What is doubling down? Everybody. We, we get one card. You got to match your bet. You get one card. Do you have any money on you, honey? <laughs> Robin, put another hundred up. All right. Hey, Jackie, loan me 50. There you go. Hold on a sec. Here we go. Let her count. Oh, that dude doesn't have 300 more dollars. Huh? You got to get 300 more dollars, dude. <laughs> Somebody got to stake him. I'll, I'll stake him. I'll stake him. Oh, I'll stake him for 100. You are the man, no, yeah. I stake him for 300. I don't have 300. I'm oh, sorry. Stay out. <laughs> All right, now here's the deal. I'm Whatever you put in, you got to put, you got to match. There's 300 there, right? 500. 500 there. How much is down there? 800. Okay. All right, 800. So here. 800. So here's another 100 I'm putting for me. my 100 in. But don't throw it on there. Just put it to the side. I'll put it to the side. All right. Here's, uh, I don't here's, know how to play. Here's another 100 for me. Okay. Here's another 100 for me. Here's Fred, Jackie's 100. And here's Fred's 100. Here's another 100 right there. Okay. Another 100 from Fred. So and I'm going to put down another 300 for that kid over there who's right. playing. Oh, wow. Kevin. Wow. Here's Jesus. another 300. The pressure's on. Oh, no. Did everybody double their bet? Everybody's in. I'm in. We just get one card and one card. One card. Sure That's right. It's okay, go ahead. Count go the ahead. money. Make sure it's eight hundred. She's counting the money. This is now a sixteen hundred dollar hand. That's right. Kevin Sorbo yeah. from it's formerly of Hercules. It's That's only seven hundred. Who didn't? Who didn't put in the hundred? Put in. I put in. I put oh, in much. Kevin probably didn't. Probably yeah, me. Oh, somebody's going to put money. up money for Kevin. Where's he Mrs. Has I, I will put, put up Kevin's hundred. Kevin, you are the cheapest son of a bitch I have ever met. A Jew. Hey, here's your wife putting up a hundred. No, Let's get the credit card. Gary, put up a hundred. I'll put in a hundred for... Take a piece right. There it is. There, there it is. is. Gary, I'll put in a hundred. Holy uh, mackerel, is Kevin broke gonna, or what? Are you going to pay Gary <laughs> back? Yeah, I will. I'll Damn put right. This right here. Right, Kevin's going to have to do dishes. To deal us our card on our 11. Give here we go. The dealer is about to deal us. Here we go. Yeah! We got a 10. That's a 21. Hold it, hold it. Don't do it. Don't do it. The oh, dealer, no. ladies and gentlemen, oh, we just no. got a 10 oh, on 11. No. We have 21. The dealer has 11. Oh, no. Uh -oh. And now she's going to take a hit. Take a hit. Uh, he's just seven. And she got 17. 17. We, win. we win. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Now, I get, I get 400 Wait a back. Minute. I got 500 right here. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need cab fare. That's it. Wow, did we just score big? Wow. Yeah. Uh, while the big. dealer is counting out all the money, <laughs> I just got to tell you, let me tell you something. Kevin Sorbo is a lot better luck than Reggie Jackson. You know yeah. yeah, and I win. Yeah, so am yeah. I. And so am I. Kevin. I think it's the wife, personally. <laughs> mm. How much money is there? 1600 total. 8 and 8 is 16. So I just gave you $1,600. Wow. So wow. divvy it up how all right, we'll divvy it up uh, after we finish right, our conversation. Yeah. Just leave it all right on the table, and oh, then we'll divvy it up. Nice. Isn't that okay. nice? Okay. Hey, now kid, you did pretty roll. good. See? Kevin, Thanks, uh, I owe it all to you. I love you guys. Well, I've you just won 300 fan. bucks, dude. Hey, I love you guys. I knew I was going to win. You're a winner it. on the Howard Stern Show. By the way, that joke that I told? Yeah. I, uh, Jack, you owed me 20 bucks, and you paid me back by giving me that joke that I told him. I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. <laughs> Get that microphone. Rustle it away from that kid, all right? And what is it, tell everyone what it's like at home, that what is it like for an actor to audition for something seven times like you did for the role of Superman and lose to Dean Cain? Tell us oh. what that was like. Oh. I mean, seriously, well, does that blow your you mind? Know, well, you know, the worst, well, uh, you know, as an actor, it's sort of, the audition process sucks anyway. Right. It's, like a, it's, it's a weird thing. They want you to have experience, and yet how do you get it unless somebody gives you a break anyway? Right. It's very strange. Right. But it's, um, it's, is it the worst feeling in the world when your agent calls sure you? Is. Well, you know, the worst feeling was that a ABC told me this night of my last audition that I got the part. Right. So I'm out partying with my manager, my agents. 24 hours later, they call back and said they changed their mind, and they went with Dean. Oh, my <laughs> no God. Kidding. No oh, kidding. Oh, that's even worse. What yeah. do you think Dean did in that few hours to change their mind? I have no idea. Jesus, it must well, have been something pretty big. Oh. All I know is Hercules won seven seasons, and <laughs> Superman, <laughs> Lois Clark, won about three and a half. Hey, don't, <laughs> don't, don't feel bad. I auditioned to be Horshack, and I lost out after 18 <laughs> auditions. I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a real big break for me. Now, you two are a handsome couple. Everybody knows that. You're one of the best-looking couples I've ever seen. How long have uh, you been married now? Yeah, how long has it been? Three and, uh, a little over three years. Three years and a month. Really? Yeah. Do you guys still have dirty sex, or is it pretty much over? <laughs> That's getting pretty dirty, actually. You spank your wife? It only gets better. Oh, yeah. You have spanked your wife? Because sure. I'm looking at your hands, man. That's got to hurt. You're a big, muscular guy. 
You know what I'm saying? Love her. We have fun. Yeah. Oh, you do? You have fun in the rack? Yeah. Uh. Would you ever allow other girls in the bed with you guys? No. You will not. No. You're not that much fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, really not, not, from, not from trying. <laughs> you two met and fell in love on the set of Hercules, right? You were an actress on the, se- on, on the show Hercules. I played a princess. You played a princess, yeah. and you came in, and like Kevin, you had makeout scenes and stuff. Oh, Our yeah. first scene was a makeout scene. And uh, what happened? And d- be honest with me. Did you start like like sneaking into each other's trailers and find that you were incredibly attracted to one another? <laughs> um, I tried sneaking into a trailer. I knew immediately. Because how does it work? You like know? you first, you have to practice kissing and stuff. Like, like don't you like get like if you see an attractive girl who's going to be on the show, don't you go, oh, I need time to audition with her and like not audition, well, but to practice. I, I use that as an excuse. Yeah. Right. I showed up down there and I hugged him the first time I saw him because I knew that the next night. I had to kiss him. So you right, gotta so you want to get comfortable. Oh, yeah. But you were attracted right away. Some oh, of yeah. Were you? Thank you. <laughs> I think a day later she was. You I know, know what? what's not to like? But what's funny is you <laughs> had a movie where you had kissing scenes and nobody said, I need to get close to you right away because I'm going to be kissing you. No, I did, though. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, I had yeah. kissing guys. scenes uh, with Mary McCormick, and I said to the director, um, you know, I'm a little nervous about it. I don't want her to think that I'm fresh. I'm, I would like to at least meet with her and uh-huh. kiss her a few times before. <laughs> And then we got up, and then I chickened out. I was like, oh, man. Uh, so, uh, no. So th- then when you start making out on the set, I don't care what anyone tells me, you do fall in love. I mean, it's hot. Uh, I mean, for me, anyway. Well, she didn't fall in love, but I did. <laughs> it was sexy. Howard has that problem. You're a guy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Howard has exactly. that problem. I had a major boner through all my kissing oh. scenes. <laughs> well, then, do you worry about <laughs> Kevin and his new kissing scenes? Of course he does. <laughs> Look at him. He goes and marries chicks after he does it. <laughs> Do you, do you, I, I don't, don't enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Do you go on the set when he has kissing scenes and stuff? No. Yeah. You don't? No. <laughs> I think you should. You know what? She has kissing scenes, too. Oh, There's yeah? No what, you still working? You doing acting, or are you just living off of uh, Kevin's dough? <laughs> yes. You're still working. <laughs> You're doing both. You're doing both. <laughs> so the fact of the matter is you don't get jealous when he does kissing scenes, even though that's how you met. No, I never said that. Uh, oh, you do? Like, of course. Really? Well, of course. I think you can't help but get a little jealous. My husband's faces. kissing another woman, and she happens to be attractive. And, and you she, don't get you feelings know. this way? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't get feelings. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to pin him down on that one. I've already tried. <laughs> but how does it go? I don't understand something. So, like, let's say you start practicing kissing with each other on the set. Then what's the next move, You know Kevin? what? I don't. Uh, you I popped a rod. You don't practice <laughs> kissing. But you did know you, what? Yeah, it's I know. But did, you, but did you pop a rod when oh, you were on the course. set kissing her? You know, you know uh, with, with her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. <laughs> with her, I did. But not with the other broads. With most, oh. no, with most of them I have. I swear to God. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I'll tell you, when you got this, you got all these cameras, all these people hanging around. No. Right. Look, I had to do, I had to do, I had to do a menage a trois scene with Karina Lombard and Tia Carrera. Yeah, how'd that go? I did not pop a Woody. <laughs> oh, you're such a liar. Would you strap it down? I thought of everything, you know, grandmothers. I mean, I just, everything, anything I could think of. Garbage. Sure. Yeah. So the fact of the matter is that after you guys started this kissing scene and you realized you were attracted, how long before you start sleeping with each other? Oh, I can't answer that. I'll leave that one to you. A year? I can't answer that. I'd leave that to her. A night? What would it take to get you into the sack? It was a while. Let me write that down. That's the answer to that question. Can I I buy a vowel? Yeah, the answer. (laughs) Well, how long did it take? game show. Your name is Sam, right? Yes. Sam, how long did it take? I can't answer you. Why? What's I'm the big sorry. deal? What I are you just, talking about? Why? You're easy? Well, it took oh. us a year no, and a half not. to get married. <laughs> it took you a year to get married. Usually, a I got a t- a like a two-date rule. Wow. But with her, it wasn't that way. He broke his rule for me. <laughs> wow. And I feel so blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. You know, I, I knew. It was one of those things people said to me, you'd know. I didn't get married until I was 39. So right. every, I, had th- I had three other brothers and a sister got married in their 20s. And they and they all said, "Oh, so you got to something. bang a lot of chicks before." I had a, I brought home a different girl every Christmas. Right. <laughs> so I like, what a life. It was. It was like. She, you don't uh, miss that at all, either one of you. You don't miss having sex with uh, anonymous partners. Oh or, God, you know no. what? And no. I've kind of been there and done that. Yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know how you get sick of that. Yeah, of course I. You know how you get sick of that, <laughs> all that sex. Forty, fifty years. Yeah, been there, done that. It really gets old. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Sorbo will guest star, by the way, on Dharma and Greg, February 6th and 13th. Who's on that show? That's that, uh, what's her name? That's Jenna, G- Elfman. Jenna Elfman. Jenna Elfman. And, and Thomas Gibson. What do you do? You play a love interest I there? Play a, I play a college he professor. He kissed Jenna Elfman I had on, on their anniversary. Elfman, yes. Really? On our, on our, on our anniversary. <laughs> Get, so. w- did you get wood on that? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, no believe it or not, I never sitcom. did. No, no. I got, there's, no there's no tongue on sitcom. <laughs> also, see Kevin, of course, on his main show, Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda, which I will watch now. I'm going to sit down Thank and watch you. it because I really... Now that he won us money 
right, we'd better I watch. You. You're damn right. Good for you. I keep looking He's at Kevin, looking at the us. money. He's so happy wish, he won. I wish I bought more money. For you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check your local listings you for Time and Channel. We got to take a quick break. When we come back, I think we're doing the hundred thousand dollar oh bet. Oh my God! Wow. Do you know what we're doing? No, I we're have no betting a hundred thousand dollars on one hand of blackjack. For and we'll meet the girl. You no, know, for, for a girl. A woman. For a woman who was raped and her friends were killed. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. You don't kid about stuff like no. that. Wow. Yeah, we wouldn't money. make that up. <laughs> yeah, I guess we would. Oh, <laughs> we didn't make it up this time. Yeah, this time we didn't make it up. But anyway, we're going to be playing for $100,000. Were they going to bring out like gold chips and stuff? Yeah, it's going to yeah, be really the dumb. Chips Howard's there, and we're going to play. Yeah, D- like Doug that. and I were just discussing it. There's like nine people that have to be here. We have to get nine. I mean, everybody's going to be here for the bet. Really? The head of security. Head of security. The head of gaming. Oh, this is yeah, exciting. Yeah, it's a big wow. deal. Yeah. Make sure there's no The general cheating. manager of the casino will be here. Really? Uh, of course, the woman we're playing for. Wow. Of course, the guy from Hole in One Insurance. Of course, Bob Moore. I mean, this is a big deal, Howard. Uh, Bob Moore is going to wow. be here. It is a big deal. Wow, wait. It's uh, unbelievable. Kevin would wow. know anything about such, you know, big money deals. No, I know <laughs> nothing about those things. Just hundred dollars. When we come back, a hundred thousand dollar bet. I, I'm very, wow. very excited. Yeah, this about is it. exciting. Wow. And uh, we're going to take a break. I want to thank Kevin Sorbo and his beautiful wife, Sam. Are you going by the name Sam Sorbo? Wow. Yes, you are. You took the Sorbo How name. How cool is yeah. that? That's very cool. Very few women will do that nah, these days. Yeah, yeah, it's this whole wow. whatever. That's right. Everyone's uh, Sam Rodham Clinton uh, Sorbo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back with a $100,000 bet. We're live in Las Vegas. Woo! Kevin Sorbo, everyone. We won. We won. Huge. We doubled down. We you know won. what happened? Here's the mistake. They didn't tell me to bring money because I didn't know we were going to be gambling. <laughs> I had like $111. That's, okay. That's I, I all I had. I wouldn't have let you gamble more than 100 bucks. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so we doubled down. We won. Howard, everybody else went on my chips. We won. Your cards. We won. How much was on that? 18, we got $3,200. How much? $3,200. $3,200 on one hand. What are you going to do with all the money? Well, I just split it with everybody else, so. <laughs> I only walked away with a hundred, <laughs> but it was fun. Thank you. Can I have a good time? I had a great time. Howard's great. Howard took his pen and he wrote all over me sexually. Why don't you show, show some art on your ass? How long is that going to stay on your ass? Forever. 